Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share Google Jamboard through Google Classroom and make individualized copies of Jamboard for your students. So here I have my Google Jamboard. I made it at jamboard.google.com. I'm signed into my Google account here. Now I could just share it with my students and hit the share button up here and then type in individual email addresses. But when they do that, they'll all be editing the same copy. And for this particular activity, my philosophical chairs activity, I don't want them to modify the original or modify anyone else's copy. I want them only to work on a copy for themselves. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom and I'm going to put into classwork my activity, do my assignment. I'm going to call it my philosophical chairs activity. Okay. And I'll give my instructions. Now let's go to add and select from Google Drive. And it appears here under my recent files because it's the most recent file that I've made in this Google account. I could also do a search for it. So let's select that one, insert it. And you can see here students can view file, can edit file or make a copy for each student. And just like every other Google Classroom assignment, I can set point values or say it's ungraded and give it a due date. Let's give it a due date of, let's say, Wednesday at midnight. And of course, I can put it into topics if I need to as well. So then I go ahead and assign that to my students. And next, we'll take a look at how the student sees this. So my student will see the assignment here in Google Classroom and they can click on that assignment. They can go up here, click on the Jamboard, move their avatar around if they want to, or add in an avatar of their own. They can do that by going to add an image or I can have them do any other number of things, including just drawing and making connections here, or even writing text on the screen as well. Now, when they're done, they can close that out. They can turn it in with their updated version of the Jamboard. So that's how you can share Google Jamboard through Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out 3techforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.